हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेज प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सिस्टम इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स कलेक्शन दिस इज पार्ट टू लेट्स बेगेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड बाय सुपीरियर वेनाकावा एंड इन्फीरियर वेनाकावा ड्रॉप्ड एट विच चैम्बर ऑफ हार्ट ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए राइट एट्रियम ऑप्शन बी लेफ्ट एट्रियम द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए राइट एट्रियम सुपीरियर वेनाकावा एंड इन्फीरियर वेनाकावा कलेक्ट डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम होल बॉडी एंड ड्रॉप्ड इट इन द हार्ट राइट एट्रियम दिस ब्लड ट्रांसफर टू द राइट वेंट्रिकल फ्रॉम देयर इट रीचेस इन द लंग्स where it get purified and now again it reaches in the heart's left atrium from there it moves in left ventricle from here by the aorta it is transferred in whole body let's have a quick revision about heart heart is a hollow muscular organ situated in mediastinum mediastinum is a space between sternum vertebrae and lungs the weight of male heart approximately 300 grams weight of female heart approximately 250 grams heart shape is like closed fist its size 12 cm long 9 cm wide and 6 cm in thickness human heart is covered with three layers pericardium this is the outer layer myocardium is a middle layer responsible for heart contraction and the inner layer just near to the heart wall is endocardium chambers of heart heart contain four chambers two superior chambers known as atria or entry hall two inferior chambers known as ventricles or belly p wave of the ecg means option a atrial depolarization option b atrial repolarization in electrocardiography p wave represent atrial depolarization option a is correct answer depolarization means contraction repolarization means relaxation ECG stands for electrocardiography by this procedure we are recording the heart's electric activity on a graph paper father of ECG antho van william in ECG electric activity of heart is represented or expressed by waves called p q r s t and sometimes u also p wave shows atrial depolarization it is also known as first wave or positive wave q r s complex shows ventricular muscle depolarization duration 0.1 seconds t wave shows repolarization of ventricle muscles gastric artery supplies blood to which organ option a stomach option b liver the right answer is option a gastric artery supplies blood to the stomach let's have a brief introduction about this gastric artery our body's largest artery is aorta its diameter approximately 2 to 3 cm we can divide this aorta in four parts ascending aorta arch of aorta thoracic aorta and abdominal aorta this abdominal aorta further divided in many arteries in all of them celiac trunk is a unpaired artery it is again divided into three arteries common hepatic artery which supplies to the liver left gastric artery that supplies stomach and lower part of esophagus and splenic artery that supply spleen and pancreas aorta four types ascending aorta arch of aorta thoracic aorta abdominal aorta 
abdominal aorta is further divided into many arteries celiac trunk one of them it is again divided into three arteries common hepatic artery that supplies to the liver left gastric artery that supplies stomach and lower part of esophagus splenic artery that supplies spleen and pancreas question number 4 drug used to manage hypertension option a dopamine option b nifedipine the right answer is nifedipine nifedipine is a drug used in the management of hypertension nifedipine drug is belongs to calcium channel blocker class of drug action nifedipine drug blocks the entry of calcium in the smooth muscles of blood vessels that causes vasodilation example of calcium channel blockers include nifedipine virapamil nicardipine amlodipine etc dopamine is a drug that is used in the treatment of severe hypotension causing conditions like cardiogenic and septic shock it is not used in the treatment of hypertension let's have brief introduction about hypertension hypertension is a continuous rise in bp systolic bp more than 140 mm of hg diastolic bp more than 90 mm of hg for a prolonged time hypertension is also known as silent killer this hypertension disease is found in males more as compared to the females in the pharmacological management of this hypertension we use diuretics example frusemide beta blocker drugs example propanolol levetalol calcium channel blocker drugs like nifedipine amlodipine virapamil angiotensin converting enzyme or simply we can say ace inhibitors example captopril enalpril vasodilator drugs like hydralazine sodium nitroprusside etc next question which drug first to administer in case of heart attack option a aspirin option b calcium channel blockers option c ace inhibitors option d any of the above the correct choice is option a aspirin in these following drugs we will administer first aspirin drug to prevent heart attack aspirin is administered because of aspirin's ability to bind irreversibly to platelets and inhibit platelet aggregation to prevent further clot during heart attack or myocardial infarction heart attack is also known as myocardial infarction definition of myocardial infarction due to stopped blood or oxygen supply to the coronary arteries any branch there necrosis occurs this condition is known as myocardial infarction most common site of myocardial infarction is left ventricles anterior wall classic symptom of myocardial infarction a pain that does not relieve by the administration of nitroglycerin severe chest pain that radiates from neck to jaw jaw to left shoulder and arm for the diagnosis we can check the cardiac indicators serum creatinine phosphokinase troponin lactase dehydrogenase all these three cardiac indicators level increase in mi increase in wbc count also seen in this condition if we get ecg at this time we will find st segment elevation t wave inversion and ab abnormal q waves next question 5 years old child with congestive heart failure apical pulse 100 per minute this time can we administer digoxin or lenoxin option a yes option b no the right answer is option a yes digoxin never use if the pulse rate below 60 beats per minute in adults 
if the pulse rate below 70 beats per minute in children and below 90 beats per minute into infant in the question the child's pulse is more than 70 so we can administer digoxin question number 7 which symptoms most commonly associated with the left side heart failure crackle sound arrhythmias hypotension all of the above the right answer is option a congestive heart failure is also known as heart failure heart failure is a condition in which heart is unable to supply adequate amount of oxygen and blood in the body for a study purpose we can classify the heart failure in two types left side heart failure and right side heart failure left side heart failure is also known as left ventricular failure in this condition left ventricles pumping action decrease due to this the pulmonary congestion occurs this condition causes the effect on respiration so in left ventricular failure or left heart failure condition all the signs and symptoms come that are related with the respiration or lungs to remember this left side heart failure related with the lungs you can mark on the first letter l left side l l for left l for lungs some important signs and symptoms of left ventricular failure are orthopnea, dyspnea, productive cuff with fruity sputum, presence of crackles on auscultation, etc. Right side heart failure or right ventricular failure is a condition in which systemic circulation get affected. Crackle sound is a crackpot sound due to presence of fluid and mucus into airway. It is here during auscultation. It is one of the most important sign of left side heart failure. Question number 8. Shock type related with severe allergic reaction. Option A. Anaphylactic shock. Option B. Neurogenic shock. Option C septic shock option d none of the above the right answer is option a anaphylactic shock it is related with the severe allergic reaction type 1 allergic or hypersensitivity reaction mainly causes anaphylactic shock or reaction anaphylactic shock rapidly developing life-threatening acute airway obstruction followed by vascular collapse within minutes after exposure to antigen example drugs and bee sting in this anaphylactic shock condition mass cell releases histamine next question what should not be done in management of cardiac arrest victim option a massive iv infusion option b o2 therapy the right choice is massive IV infusion. It is not done in the cardiac arrest victim. Massive IV infusion should be avoided because it will increase extra load on heart. In the management of cardiac arrest victim, CPR can be given, defibrillator may be used, establishment of air may, all, the, all these things are can be done. Question number 10. Which client problem has priority for the client with cardiac dysarrhythmias? Option A. Activity intolerance. Option B. Impaired gas exchange. Option C. Decreased cardiac output. Option D. None of the above. Option C. Decreased cardiac output is the right choice. Question number 11. Most important assessment in client after femoropopliteal bypass for peripheral vascular disease. Option A. Pedal pulse rate. Option B. Color of lower extremity. Option B. Color of lower extremity is the right choice. 
pain felt in calf muscle when the dorsi flexed with the leg extended at the knee called option a kerning sign option b homan sign option b homan sign is the right choice pain felt in calf muscle when the dorsi flexed with the leg extended at the knee called homan sign last question highest risk of developing condition in dvt patient deep vein thrombosis patient option a pulmonary embolism option b pneumothorax option a is the right choice pulmonary embolism thank you so much friends for watching this complete video if you think this video is helpful then please click up on the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel for nurses preparation for more interesting videos all the best